Let's talk about how we can clear fractions. You know, sometimes I wish you internet people could be here to see what I have to deal with. People complaining about everything, making faces, making gestures. You don't even want to see the gestures they're making at me. So let's just talk about clearing fractions. The first thing you need to do is you need to identify identify the LCD of all terms in the equation. Identify the least common denominator for all terms in the equation. And once you've done that, multiply each term. Multiply each term by the least common denominator and simplify. If you actually have a common denominator, when you multiply times those terms, the denominators they already have are going to reduce away. They're going to simplify. It's going to be fantastic. And once you've gotten rid of your fractions, you can then easily solve the resulting equation. Solve the resulting equation. Okay, and let's start with something nice for you. Okay, nice, because you seem like nice people. At least those of you that are watching on YouTube. Subscribe, <laughs> just click subscribe. I need more subscribers so I can look cool. If I ask you to solve this, if I say 3 fourths x minus 2 thirds is equal to 5 over 6. This is an equation. It contains fractions. And now we're kind of scared, right? What do we do? Well, look at the steps that I give you here. Find the LCD for everything in this problem. What's the LCD? Yeah, it's, it's 12. Huh? No, no, but, but you instantly said 12, and then you backed off from it. Go with your gut. Okay. So the LCD is 12. Now here's what we do with the 12. We multiply everything times the LCD. That means I'm going to take 12 over 1 times 3 over 4x minus 12 over 1 times 2 thirds is equal to 12 over 1 times 5 over 6. So now what I have here is something that I can easily simplify. We reduce each of these fractions. What do we get? Look here in this first guy. Hmm? I thought you made the, the denominator is 12. You can do that, but what I'm using here is something that I can't do in an expression. In an equation, you have the ability to multiply both sides times the same amount. Yeah. Right? So what I'm doing here is that I'm multiplying each side of my equation by 12. That is a legitimate operation for equations, right? So when I multiply by 12 on the left side, I'm going to distribute the 12. So you just basically um, break it down faster. And it's, you could, you could, the, the other way of doing this is to get everybody to have that same denominator. And once everybody has the same denominator, you just focus on the equation that's formed from the numerators. It's going to be the same thing as this. So here, 4 reduces into the 12 three times. So now I don't have a denominator here. I just have 3 times 3x, which is 9x minus what? Three goes into twelve four times, so we get minus eight equals what? Ten. Equals ten because six goes into twelve twice. Two times five is ten. Mm. Now, isn't this equation easier to solve than the original one? Yes. Yeah. Now, notice all I did was use the multiplication property to my advantage by identifying the LCD and using that to wipe out those denominators by reducing. So then, you know, finished solving this. So I add 8 to both sides. And this should be 
child's play by now, the more of these we do. So 9x equals what? 2. Oh, 18. Sorry. Easy killer. 9x equals 18. And then divide by 9, so x equals 2. Spoiler alert. <laughs> All right. So you're saying that would be the best way to handle really any fraction yeah. equation? Right. We could have even done it with the problem that's on the board.